Bibliophiles of the Internet. My name is Adriana and today I'm here to bring you a modest May book haul. So in May I only collected a very small handful of books but I am so excited about each and every one of them. Also recently I checked out two new releases from my library so I thought I would show those to you as well at the end of the haul. As usual I'm going to take you through these books in chronological order so I think we should just jump right in. The very first thing that happened in May, actually the first Saturday of the month, May 2nd, was Free Comic Book Day. And obviously when someone puts the words free and comic book together, I'm going to be there. So a couple of friends and I hit up a local comic book shop near our school and it was really fun. So if you've never been to Free Comic Book Day, basically what they do is everybody gets to take two issues of free comic books and those are usually like rare sampler type of things. So it's not like a whole first issue of a series or anything. They're pre-selected little samplers from different comic book publishers. These were the two free comics that I picked up on Free Comic Book Day. This is the all new, all different Avengers, and this is a sampler of JoJo's Bizarre Adventures with some bonus Yu-Gi-Oh manga. That's cool. I was mostly really excited about this special issue of the Avengers because of how many different heroes are featured on the cover. There is Lady Thor, there is Miss Marvel, there is the new Captain America, so it's a really diverse group of heroes and that is amazing. And I picked up this sampler of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure because this was pretty much the only manga sampler they had that day, so I was like, represent. And then because I wanted to support the comic book shop itself, I bought an issue of a different comic. So I picked up the first issue of Odyssey by Matt Fraction and Christian Ward. I am really curious about this comic series because all I know is that it's a gender swapped retelling of the Odyssey that has been staged as a space opera. Let it sink in. So needless to say, I am super excited about reading this first issue of Odyssey and I will let you all know what I think, but I have a very good feeling about this. So now let's move on to the three books that I bought myself in May. The first book I bought in May, you knew this was coming, was Nimona by Noelle Stevenson. I'm sure many of you have heard of Noelle Stevenson before. She also does work on the incredibly popular comic series called Lumberjanes. You really can't go wrong with anything that she does because she is a true gem within the comic community. This comic is like a blend of fantasy and comedy. It's about a young girl named Nimona who is a shapeshifter. She is basically the equivalent of an unpaid intern for this villainous character known as Lord Blackheart. So essentially Blackheart and Nimona work together to take down his arch nemesis Sir Ambrosius Goldenloin. I kind of lost track of the webcomic a little bit over halfway through when it was being published online, so I'm very excited to be able to start this story over from the beginning and read it to the end. The second book that I bought was this vintage classics edition of Far From The Madding Crowd by Thomas Hardy. I'm sure many people are buying this classic right now because the film adaptation starring Carey Mulligan is set to release very soon. Of course I saw the trailer for that film adaptation and on the very first watch I felt myself growing very obsessive about it. I was like holy crap. I need to get that book because I could love that story. I think it could be about a young woman who takes her place as a farmer. Do not quote me on that. I am totally not sure about that at all, but I do know that she attracts the attention of three different men and that's a problem. I really just have this feeling that I'm going to love this classic so much. And the last book I have to show you is a new release and that is Extraordinary Means by Robin Schneider. I don't know how many of you remember this, but last year when I read the beginning of everything, I was nuts so over it. I still love it. It's still one of my favorite contemporaries of all time. And this is Robin Schneider's new book, so of course I wanted to read it. From what I understand, this book is about two teenagers named Lane and Sadie, and both of them are suffering from an incurable strain of tuberculosis. They are both sent to this kind of isolated sanatorium and that's where they meet each other and they forge a friendship. For whatever reason, I'm kind of working myself into a contemporary mood, so I might read this one in June. Intrigued, a little bit wary, but overall very excited. 
that's how I feel about this book. So those were all of the books or comics that I picked up throughout the month of May in one way or another. And now let's move on to the new releases that I checked out from my library. The first one is brand spanking new to my library and that is Mosquito Land by David Arnold. This is a contemporary novel about a young girl named Mim who has moved from Ohio to Mississippi to live with her father and her stepmother. However, shortly thereafter she learns that her mother is sick back in Ohio, so she boards a Greyhound bus to take her all the way back to Cleveland. I really don't know much beyond that. I think perhaps to some extent this story deals with mental illness, but I'm not totally sure. I'm just really interested to know how this story is going to unfold and how much I'm going to enjoy it if I do enjoy it. And the second not quite as recent release that I got from my library is Everything Leads to You by Nina LaCour. This is another YA contemporary story and it's about a young girl named Emmy Price who is a production designer. And after graduation she goes out to LA to watch over her brother's apartment. Really the only thing her brother cares about in terms of that apartment is that Emmy do something awesome and epic with her time there. Honestly, I wasn't really interested in this story when it first released, but then I learned that it was about lesbians in Hollywood. I'll say it again, lesbians in Hollywood. It is so rare to find a YA contemporary novel with a main character who is a lesbian, and this is vital to my existence. Whether this story turns out to be garbage or not, I need to try it out and I need to see how I feel about it because I am very curious to see how that is going to be represented in this story. And obviously because I have to return this book and Mosquito Land back to the library, I plan to read both of them in June and I will let you know what I think. So those were all of the things I had to show you in terms of reading materials that I accumulated over the month of May. You really can't get any more thorough than I just did. In the comments down below, please let me know if you have read any of the books or comics that I showed in today's video, or let me know if you have any intentions of doing so in the future. But that is everything I had for this book haul slash library pickup today, so thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope that you enjoyed it, and I will catch you on the flip side of the page. Bye!